Hey everyone, I'm Nando Avila, and this is another installment of your favorite sports recap show on the internet, La Liga Zone. It's 100 degrees here in Southern California, but it's not as hot as La Liga Santander is getting as we hit the final stretch. Get it? Today we're going to talk about the agonizing mano a mano duel at the top of the table between Real Madrid and Barcelona, and then we're going to try to sort through all the smoke in the battle for European spots. Oh, and lest you forgot, we've got the goals of the week. Okay, so make sure you're seated with your seatbelts fastened and keep the aisles clear because we are ready for takeoff. On Saturday, Barca welcomed the always prickly Valladolid to the Camp Nou. Barca absolutely needed a win to keep their title hopes alive and keep the pressure on league leaders Real Madrid. It wasn't as pretty as their spectacular victory against Villarreal just a few days earlier, but you know what? They all count. The lone goal of the game came through a powerful Arturo Vidal strike that went in off the post after a very sweet Messi assist. It was Messi's 20th assist in La Liga Santander, which is the most anyone has had in a single season in the last 25 years. Not bad. For his part, that was Arturo Vidal's eighth goal of the season. He is, statistically speaking, the most efficient goal scorer in La Liga Santander. I mean, his ratio of goals to shots is 35% which is higher than anyone else's. So, the Barca victory kept the pressure on at Real Madrid, who had a tricky game away at Granada on Monday. Well, Real Madrid showed that the pressure was no factor, at least early on, as they got off to a flying start at the Estadio Los Carmenes through Ferlan Mendy, who looked like Roberto Carlos out there, overwhelming his defender with pace and power, and then absolutely rifling his shot in the top corner from a tough angle. Mendy was the 21st different Real Madrid player to score in La Liga Santander this season, which is a record. And then, just a few minutes later, Benzema doubled the scoreline after a beautiful flowing counter-attacking move. Isco's back heel in the middle of the park fooled everyone and sprung Modric into space, who found Benzema on the left flank, and Karim did the rest, cutting inside on his favorite right foot and burying the shot. Wonderful team goal. But... At the break, Granada manager Diego Martinez, who, in my opinion, is the most underrated manager in La Liga Santander, made some adjustments, and Granada took the game to Real Madrid. Early in the second half, they smothered Casemiro, forced a turnover, and Machis slotted it under Thibaut Courtois' legs. That was only the third goal that Madrid have conceded since the restart, so not easy to score against them. And then Granada made Madrid sweat, dominating possession and creating chances, but in the end, Madrid managed to hold on, and the four-point gap atop La Liga Santander remains. If Madrid win their next match at home against Villarreal, they will be crowned champions of La Liga Santander, so be sure to look out for that. The battle for the final European spots is hotter than ever. Villarreal, Getafe, Athletic Club, and La Real Sociedad are all battling for those coveted fifth and sixth spots. La Real is still in the hunt after a massive crucial, agonizing 2-1 victory on the road against Villarreal. At one point of the season, La Real looked like they were going to be competing for a top four spot, but they've struggled in the restart and are now looking to go for a top six spot. That victory against Villarreal keeps their dream alive. You know, just six points separate all these teams, so there's still lots to play for in the final two match days. Okay, and now it's time to talk goals. Specifically, good goals. Specifically, the best goals of the week. The first is Arturo Vidal's laser beam against Valladolid. I mean, look at that shot, tight angle. Only one place to put it, and that's right off the post. And also, great assist from the great one himself, Leo Messi. The next goal comes courtesy of big bad Raul Garcia. It was the second of the day against Levante, and what a sweet little Vaselina. I mean, the veteran Athletic midfielder is having the season of his life with 15 goals for the Basque side. This was one of the prettiest. His 15 goals this season are the most for an Athletic Club midfielder since the iconic Julen Guerrero way back in 1997. And lastly, we have a great diving header goal from Osasuna's Enrique Gallego. Love a good diving header, it generates power. But the best part was the cross from the guy who, in my opinion, has the coolest name in all of La Liga Santander, Pervis Estupiñan. Pervis Estupiñan. The Ecuadorian whips in a perfect cross from the left flank, and Enrique Gallego does the rest. Guys, we're down to the wire in La Liga Santander, and as such, the schedule is a little bit different. Everyone plays at the same time so as to avoid any advantages. That's right, we're going to have tons of matches happening all at once, so get your multiple screens ready. On Thursday, the games will be played at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Real Madrid welcome Villarreal to the Alfredo Di Stefano, and Barca welcome Osasuna to the Camp Nou. 
Then on Sunday, 3 p.m. Eastern time, we'll have the final match day of La Liga Santander this season. Hmm. But there will be plenty of drama from the European spots all the way to the relegation spots, so you won't want to miss it. Barça will travel to Vitoria to face Deportivo Alavés, while Real Madrid go across town to Butarque to face Leganés in what could be their Alidón. We'll just have to wait and see. Be sure to catch all the action of La Liga Santander on Sling TV, the official partner in North America. Visit www.sling.com slash La Liga and sign up today. And it's time to look inside the Magic 8 Ball and do some predictions. This segment is brought to you by PointsBet Sportsbook. For the easiest and fastest way to bet on your favorite La Liga teams, download the PointsBet app today. Okay, first up, we've got Atlético de Madrid versus La Real Sociedad. So, Atleti have been playing really well in the restart, but, you know, they've already done their homework. They've clinched a top four spot, so really they don't have much to play for. Meanwhile, La Real is fighting to stay in the European spots, and they're coming off a big win against Villarreal. So, I'm going to go with La Real for the win. 